Could claims be true that the shocking content in Prince Harry's upcoming memoir will be about the rumors that James Hewitt is Harry's biological dad? Rumor was, or is, based on Diana's wanton ways that James Hewitt was actually Prince Harry's father. Everyone has heard that story, Harry at some point surely has. But there's another story, likely just as damaging to a teenager's fragile ego, that has made the rounds. Chances are Harry heard that one as well. It was a story that his mother told royal biographer Andrew Morton in Diana her true story in her own words. Diana talked with Morton about her second pregnancy. At the time, she knew Charles had always wanted two children, one boy and one girl. Diana learned of her second child's sex mid-pregnancy but didn't share this with Charles. She claimed that in the weeks leading up to Harry's birth, she and Charles were particularly close, as close as they would be at any time in their marriage. Then came Harry. Diana claimed Charles' reaction was one of dismay, a boy, and the final insult was his bright shock of red hair. Not just any boy, a ginger. Diana cited that moment as the beginning of the end of their marriage. She told Andrew Morton, and therefore the world, suddenly as Harry was born, it just went bang, our marriage. The whole thing went down the drain. Over the years, it has been reported that Diana didn't meet James until two years after Harry came into the world. This was refuted on live TV by PR guru Max Clifford, who claimed Diana first met him two years before Harry was born. However, Harry will never admit to James Hewitt being his father in his memoir. On the other hand, he is fully complicit in blackmailing the royal family. He supported every lie and manipulation launched by his worst half. He's all in on the grift, the betrayal, the smear. He's making his bed and by every right should lie in it. Recently, Harry's accused of leaking information about Prince Charles' secret deals with the Qatari Sheik and Osama bin Laden. According to Women's Day, Prince Charles has been paranoid about who is leaking his dealings to the press. And after thinking about all the possibilities, he couldn't help but think that it was Prince Harry all along. Charles is a paranoid fellow at the best of times, but there's no denying that there could be truth to his fears that someone is leaking these stories to ruin his reign. The source added that Prince Charles knows that this is just the tip of the iceberg of what Prince Harry could do. After all, he will also release a memoir and his dad is worried about what his son wrote about him. Charles fears that this is just the tip of the iceberg of bad press. When Harry's memoir comes out at Christmas, he expects to be firmly in the firing line. Meanwhile, deluded Prince Harry has come under fire for thinking the release of his memoir will allow him the chance to become like Barack Obama. This allegation has been made by the author of the To Die For Daily podcast, Kinsit Schofield. She was quoted saying, what I think he's trying to do is brand himself as a Mark Zuckerberg, Barack Obama, some guy that can get $100,000 for a speech in Miami to a bunch of rich dudes. I think he's trying to brand himself as a leader in the United States and will use his book to try to do that. He wanted to try to rewrite his story and to be this phoenix rising from the ashes. That's the route I think he's going to go.